Hello my friends and welcome to another Tuesday of Tutorial. I am Leonardo Perez Nieto and today we will draw a deer jumping. We begin by sketching an action line. Then on this we draw the ribcage. These two things will help us as a guide to build on the rest of the drawing. The head goes about here and it's pretty triangular. Then we draw the main shape of the bones of the hips and shoulders. From there we will draw the back and front legs. We do the arm with the elbow, the wrist and the half. And the back leg. The neck, which is fairly long in these animals. And having that, we go over the line, giving it better shapes and more detail. I correct the front leg as I did it a little bit. We redo the arm with the elbow, the wrist, and the half. Very good, that is better. We continue going over the line and correcting any details as needed. And having a decent sketch, we now begin drawing with the fountain pen. I am holding it upside down because on the back side it draws a little bit thinner. We go over the outline that we had done with the pencil. I didn't do it from the beginning with the pen because obviously it cannot be erased. If I need a thicker line, then I turn it around to the side that is normally used for writing. As you can see, I'm first going over the whole outline before I begin the shading. You don't necessarily need to follow this order. We achieve the shading by doing a series of parallel lines and to further darken, we can cross other ones on top of them. I recommend you if you want to learn to draw animals that you don't only copy them from photos because this can often make them look stiff and it is likely that you will not be able to modify the poses or being able to draw them from your imagination or from memory. To achieve this and to make them look dynamic and full of life, one needs to understand the animal anatomy. By the way, let's draw a shadow over here so that it looks like it is jumping. If you do sketches, studies of their anatomy, especially of their skeleton and the main muscles, you will achieve your drawings looking a lot more real. And of course, try to make sketches from live animals. I erased the pencil so that the drawing looks cleaner. Before doing that, make sure the ink is totally dry so that it doesn't smudge. We draw some muscles of the legs, as well as the upper back and the hips, which makes it look much better, as I mentioned to you. Very good, I love drawing with fountain pen. The last touches and it's ready. If you enjoyed it, please give it a like, share it to your friends and subscribe to find our tips. And I will see you on Tuesday.